everybody. So today we're going to be talking about Amazon's Echo Dot. What the price is, what it can do, what it can do, and my experience having and using it so far. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It says Amazon on the front. It has the speakers in the back. This is where all the noise and voice and everything else comes out of. The very back of it. It's not since it's not battery powered. It's uh, USB powered through a power charger, an auxiliary cable. This is the assist button, the mute button, the volume up and down buttons. This part right here is the mic, the 180 de or 360 degree omnidirectional mic where it picks up your voice. When it does pick up your voice, the LED uh, tells you that where it's picking up your voice at. You can get this in either black or white. The price range for this thing is $50. You can get it on Amazon. You can order it through Amazon Echo, the taller version with a bigger, better speaker out of it. Uh, Echo Show through a Kindle. But with tax title and license and all that, this thing comes up to about $55. Okay, so for the things it can do, this thing can tell you news updates, information, weather updates, traffic updates, how your commute's gonna be and it'll record your voice if you that makes you uncomfortable you can delete the uh, the recordings that it does record of you it shows you a history of it a specific of every specific thing that you've asked for it and it records your voice to better understand what you ask of it you can also play music through this through from your phone or tablet through the app, bluetooth or uh, auxiliary cable from the back if you have amazon prime you can play Amazon Music Unlimited through this. You can listen to them as many as you want with ad free. You can also link your Pandora account, your iHeart account, your Spotify account, and your TuneIn account and listen through them through here. You can set skills for this thing which act like miniature apps for it, or like lifestyle apps, utilities, productivity apps, lifestyle apps, game apps where you can play games on this, and story like, story like uh, games. But the most important thing this thing can do is not only tell you like updates, weather updates your commute and all that is the voice purchasing you can do through this thing you purchase from Amazon using this thing just through your voice however you can disable this the voice purchasing option or the ability to prevent from accidentally ordering something or if someone else just randomly tells you something that they want to purchase something from Amazon this thing will just pick it up and automatically order it which it happened to me but even more importantly, is that if you're feeling bad or, or you're by yourself on your, on your birthday, this thing can sing you happy birthday. <laughs> or it can sing you a song if you're feeling down or whatever. Okay, so for the things it can't, this thing can't do is it can't fly unless you throw it. It will only fly temporarily. It can't read your mind, but it does record what you ask of it to better understand what you ask of it because some people just mumble and jargle or whatever what they're saying and this thing just goes, hmm, I don't know that one. Or, I don't know the answer to that. I'm not sure. Stuff like that. It sometimes does pick up the wrong things when you ask of it. It's, it, you ask it a certain question and it's like, it gives you an answer that you were like, what, the, I didn't even ask that? Or it may not even answer to the magic wake words to pick it up. And if it's loud, it'll just ignore you. At least it does for me. And that's pretty much what it can't do for me. Well, so far from what I found. If there's something else, let me know. So I've had the Echo Dot for a few months now and I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it. Now for the things that what I use it for, I use it just for like, again, traffic updates, news updates, how the weather is, and use the skills, just some skills, not all of them, play some few games, like uh, Beat the Dealer or Higher or Lower. That's the ones I play on the game title, the only ones I have out of this. And I've used it for news updates, traffic updates, weather updates, how my commute is, finding theater show times, finding places to eat at, stuff like that. But there are some things I do hate about the Amazon Echo Dot. Yeah, I mean, uh, people might like it and all, but for me, I just hate when it doesn't pick up my voice. I'm like, Echo. I, that's the magic word I use for it, or the wake word. Echo. Echo this, that, that, that. And I thought it picked up because you see the like blue ring come, come up. And it doesn't answer. It's like, bing. And it just fades out. I'm like, what the fuck? 
that or when I ask it some questions it doesn't give me the answer I'm looking for and it just doesn't outright just answer me and it goes hmm I'm not sure about that one but when I ask it things that I would assume that it doesn't know again assume I assume and it's like it answers me and I'm like cool at least now I know then and I know that with this you can control the smart home devices even though I don't have any smart home devices yet I do plan on using this to control the smart home devices for like lights, hewing lights, the thermostat. Another thing I do like about this is that I can play my radio stations from my heart radio on Spotify or Pandora. I don't use tune in that much on, on here, but I use this a lot on, and very often to play with those radio stations on here. Another thing I also like about this thing is that it's the reminders and the alarms. I don't use the alarms as much, but I do use the reminder quite often. I do forget some stuff that I, that I put on there and it just bam, it tells me. Or I can check out when I'm through the app. Another thing about this thing is that, and not only that, uh, a lot of the skills, some are either they're not maintained or they no longer work and sometimes they do come back to working perfectly. Some, again, they're useless. I, what I find, I find them useless. Maybe you might like them, maybe not, I don't know. What I find to be the best best thing about the Echo Dot or any Echo device, Echo Show and Echo Dot or the Echo, is that is the voice purchasing. However, for me, I have it disabled because for what at one time I, as I said, someone was talking, as I said earlier, so I was talking to someone and they said, "Man, I would like to order uh, something from Amazon and." And at the time, I had the Amazon Magic Word on here, to the wake word. And it ordered what they specifically asked for. And I'm like, and I didn't even know. Because I, it has a reminding or a sound saying when it activates. I didn't hear it at the time. And it sounded, and I had, because of that, I have it disabled. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. I didn't even know at the time until it arrived. I'm like, oh shit, I never ordered this. And again, so I have it disabled because anybody can order it through uh, your account on Amazon through this thing as long as they know the, the wake word, which is there's only four. There's the Amazon, there's Echo, there's Alexa, and there's computer. If they use those things and you have this voice purchasing, purchasing activated, it will order it. Not only that, even at times this thing kind of, it, it, it freaks me out in some ways because when I'm watching a movie and the, the movie's playing, and it decides to do whatever. Sometimes this thing wakes up thinking that the movie's talking to this thing, saying, oh, and it tries to respond or have an answer to what the movie is saying. And when it does and it does that, I find it funny because when I had to search it up on the, the history of what it was asking for, it goes on to random stuff, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and goes on like that as a response. And it just goes on, I don't know how to enter that. That thing is what I find funny about this. Uh, or if you're watching a movie or playing music from something else other than from this. But yeah, that's my experience with this one, with the Amazon Echo Dot. So that's my experience with the Amazon Echo Dot. Let me know what you think of this. Do you have an Amazon Echo Dot, an Echo Show, or just the Amazon Original Echo? Let me know. And if you like the video, please like the video and share. And please subscribe for more content. Thank you. See you later.